Hey, good morning. I'm just getting my cup of coffee as I'm going in here to do a little work. Uh, as you can see by the walls, uh, we're doing some remodeling. And that is because we had that electrical fire. And uh, so we have to have to do a little more painting. Have some patching to do. You can see on the walls where they put some new light switches in and have to do some painting. But we're getting everything in order. And so my wife has uh, put a bunch of ideas up there that she wants to look at. So we'll make a decision in the next day or two. And maybe next time we're in here, it'll all be a different color. But hello and welcome to your morning cup of inspiration. Thank you so much for joining me today. You know, something I wanted to share with you. I was thinking of the song, it's just in my mind, going over and over, of Amazing Grace. Amazing Grace, how sweet the sound that saved a wretch like me. I once was lost, but now I'm found. Was blind, but now I see. That was the, the line that got me. Was blind, but now I see. <clears throat> and it took me back to, to the Bible, uh, back over in John, in the, uh, the ninth chapter. And of course, John is telling all about what he knows about Christ in this chapter, and what he knows about Jesus. And the story over in chapter 9 is about Jesus healing the blind man. And it's interesting because he just went up to him and he asked him if he wanted to be healed. You know, the disciples just started talking about the blind man. Why is it that he is blind? Was it a sin that he committed or one that his parents committed? But Jesus says, no, it's neither. But he went over to him, of course, and he, he asked him if he wanted to see. And, or if, and he said that he, he needed help getting into the pool. Because the pool, they thought these angels stirred the waters and that they would be healed if the first one they got in. <clears throat> so he didn't, he didn't know how far it was. He didn't know where the pool was. People were running over him to try to get there. But what I wanted to uh, talk to you about is when, when he, <clears throat> Jesus restored his sight, the Pharisees, they didn't want to believe it. They didn't think Jesus was a man of God. They didn't think he was a son of God. And so they kept questioning him. Then they questioned his parents. And they had, uh, his parents says, well, ask him. He's of age. And he kept asking him, who healed you? And over in the 24th verse, it says, A second time they summoned the man who had been blind. Give glory to God by telling the truth, they said. We know this man is a sinner. Talking about Jesus. He replied, whether he is a sinner or not, I don't know. I couldn't see. I don't know who healed me. You know, it's, He didn't say that, but I don't know. It says, one thing I do know, I was blind, but now I see I was blind, but now I see. Then they asked him, what did he do to you? How did he open your eyes? And he answered, now he's starting to get a little upset and going to get their goat. I have to tell you, I have told you already, and you do not listen to me. What do you want to hear? Why do you want to hear it again? Do you want to become his disciple too? Well, they, you know, that exploded. They just kicked him out of the temple on that move. But he became a Jesus follower. And the thing I want to talk to you about is he did it by faith. He didn't see him heal him. He just knows that this man healed him. And when, he, when Jesus told him later it was him, of course he believed him, but he did it by faith. And that's how we live our life. We believe Jesus by faith. We believe in God by faith. So we have to have that fearless faith every day in our lives. We have to live by that because we know that we know that we know, just like the blind man knew. I once was blind, but now I see. I hope that blesses you today. I look forward to seeing you again for another morning cup of inspiration. God bless you, everyone. Have a wonderful day.